This is a Game Caviar production. Tomorrow's a big day. Xbox is going to be, the next gen Xbox is going to be revealed by Microsoft. It should be going off at about 1 o'clock Eastern, I believe. PM, of course. And it's going to be a really big day, especially for Call of Duty fans, because as always, Microsoft is going to treat Call of Duty like it's an Xbox exclusive. I am eager to see what the next game is going to be. And uh, I, I just want to, I'm just as curious as everybody else, man. I'm not like absolutely stoked that the game is going to be revealed tomorrow. I really don't have high hopes for it. But I am keeping my fingers crossed. Maybe it's going to be awesome. Maybe not. Unfortunately for me, I'm going to have to buy the game. Uh, Zoom in Games, the company that I'm partnered with, does not do the uh, promotional copies. They don't have the rights to. Maybe they will someday. Maybe not. Uh, but as of right now, I'm going to have to use my own money to get the game. Which isn't a bad thing because, I, like I said, I'm, I've said it before. I have a job, so, you know. Whatever. It's just one of those things that you should keep in mind when you pick the company that that you want to be partnered with. Just look at all of the perks and everything that they offer, and then you go from there. Anyway, this video is not about the next Xbox or partnership or any of that. What I wanted to do... Damn, I got that dude good. Hell yeah. What I wanted to ask you guys, for all of you guys and gals, the caviars and the caveats out there who watch this video... Do you consider yourself to be a nerd? Especially if you're a gamer like me. I know that there's this stigma of people who love to play games and who enjoy gaming as a hobby, who play online and all this other stuff. They're, they're considered nerds and geeks and whatever. Is that what you consider yourself? And do you think that being a nerd is a derogatory term? This is something that just popped into my head. Uh, I was sitting around preparing to play some games and this question popped into my head and I was like, uh, maybe I should make a video about that, you know, and see what you guys think because I know how I feel about it. I know that I like playing video games. That's obvious. That's why I have a gaming channel. That's why I started Game Caviar, so forth and so on. I don't really consider myself to be a nerd. I don't even know what would actually be considered a nerd. Uh, I can joke, jokingly say, yeah, I'm a nerd, whatever. You want to call me a nerd, that's fine. I don't feel that way. I'm just, you know, I think that because video games in general have become so mainstream and so popular throughout the years that it's it's real easy for people to uh, to be familiar or be uh, comfortable with the term nerd, whereas... Maybe, let's say, 15 years ago, or, or maybe even 10, 10 to 15 years ago, or maybe more than that, then being called a nerd was like, you know, it was it was disrespectful and people got offended by it. And it, it was one of those things that if you weren't labeled a nerd, then it, it's just something that you didn't want to be labeled. Nowadays, it's like video games are everywhere, and they're so incorporated with mainstream and and uh, people who who love to play video games are more accepted now because, as a whole, video games have become uh, way more popular than they were uh, back in the day. I'm not saying that video games were never popular, or that video games always had a certain level of popularity, but for me, I think that the level of popularity has risen, especially within the past 10 years, especially when you had the whole... Um, I think it really started when, because you had the Nintendo, and then you had like Super Nintendo, and then Sega. Once the console wars really started to gain steam, and video games became more and more popular, I think that's when it definitely became, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, video gaming in general became uh, a more accepted hobby than it had been before. I know a lot of people who think that or, or I've watched a documentary of people who played World of Warcraft and like they they really took it to a, another level. Like I knew of World of Warcraft before and I knew of uh, people who spent hours playing that game, but I can't remember the name of the documentary. But if you go to Google and you just search for uh, World of Warcraft documentary or something like that, something uh, not as specific. So 
it, it may come up. But what happened was the the World of Warcraft had some sort of expansion. Now, I've never played World of Warcraft, and I apologize ahead of time if I'm like butchering the terms or or the the whatever it's called. But to me, it was an expansion, an add on, or whatever. They had one that came out, and uh, they had a certain group of people that was f that were followed in the documentary, and they actually took off from work so they could level up in World of Warcraft. It may have been a, a new World of Warcraft game. I don't know. I don't know whether they... I, I have no idea, but to me, I think it was an expansion, and people took off work to play the game. Uh, and for me, I think that when that documentary came out, that was when... People saw people. People saw individuals who played World of Warcraft like that as nerds, and they were just looked down upon. You know, as people who stay in the house all day and don't have a life. Look, I play video games a lot. Different types of video games. I have the the PlayStation 3, the Xbox 360, and I bought a Wii U for my kids because they love playing video games. Not quite as much as I do, but uh, they don't spend hours on the console. Like I did when I grew up. Like video games have been a part of my life since I can remember. So uh, I put in a lot of hours in video games. But at the same time, I actually have a life outside of video games. And uh, I don't see it as a problem if you put a lot of time in video games. Uh, but... If you are consumed by a video game that doesn't make you a nerd, but you do have some sort of... It, it, it does seem like you ha you would have some sort of issue with it. Like, uh, referring back to the documentary, there was a guy who, who had ended up committing suicide because he had gotten into a relationship with the chick through the game, and I think she dumped him, and then he didn't take it well, and he was barricaded in his house and everything. When it gets to that point, then you're not considered a nerd. You just, you're just a person with a problem, and you have to break free of the video games. So uh, the term nerd, as as of right now, I think it's, it's not as derogatory as it used to be. It's pretty cool. C4 hurts when it explodes right there, especially in hardcore. Uh, so... My question is, again, do you consider yourself to be a nerd? Just let me know, and we can talk about it. I don't think that... I, I'm not going to judge you either way, because I don't care. You can say you're a nerd. You can say you're not a nerd. I don't give a damn. I really don't care. I just want to have a conversation about it. And um, I hope that you guys will respond to this video, and just send me a comment, man, you know? And, and we can chat about it like we always do, you know. I, I'm always down to have some comments on the videos, of course. You know, I, I mean, that's just me. That's just great feedback on my videos, and I love it. So, to recap, do you think you're a nerd? Do you think that people who play games uh, as a hobby are nerds? Would you consider somebody to be a nerd? Let me know. Tomorrow, Xbox 360, or Xbox, next-gen Xbox reveal. Call of Duty Goats is also going to be revealed. And Microsoft said they're also going to be... Uh, revealing a ton of exclusives. I'm doing the air parentheses ton of exclusives at E3. I don't, I don't, I don't know what they, what that term of ton is, but whatever, we'll see. Anyway, I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. I will be covering the the reveal tomorrow, and go to Facebook.com/slash Game Caviar, and I'll be dropping little comments on it here and there. All right. This has been Black Ops Two on. PlayStation 3, of course. I'm not having it, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.